Applications of differentiation. We are going to continue with stationary points. You will find this on page 290 in the Namibia IS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. A curve has equation and this is the function. Find values of x. This is very important. So it's just saying find the values of x, not the whole coordinate point, at which the curve has stationary points and determine the nature of each stationary point. Justify your answer. Okay, now if you look at this function, you will see you must use the chain rule. So the first step, you differentiate. Okay, so you differentiate this term and then you use the chain rule here Remember, differentiate the outside and then multiply by differentiating the inside. Okay, this is my function. Now, for the stationary points, dy by dx must be zero. So, in the place of this, I will put a zero. Now, I'm just going to show you this. I will clean it. Um, I just skip a few steps there, but I think at this stage you will be able to do it. But it was just 8 minus 2, 2x minus 1, square equals 8. How to simplify? Oh, equals 0. So I'm already taking, because this is negative, take this one over. Okay, put this over 1 and then cross multiply. So if I cross multiply, I will get 8, 2x minus 1 squared equals 2. And then I just divide by 2 and I divide by 2. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get 4, okay, and it's, okay, I'm doing it very long now. Okay, minus x squared, and that is equal to 1. Okay, then I multiply out, so this bracket, so it's going to be 4x squared minus, so it's minus 2 times 2, so minus 4x plus 1 minus that 1 equals 0. So this is going to be 16x squared minus 16x plus 4 minus 1 equals 0. So it's going to be 16x squared minus 16x and there is the plus 3. Okay, and this is exactly what I got there. Okay, it's not very difficult. I just didn't show that whole step there. Okay, now as soon as I reach that stage, I'm just going to factorize and I get this. I put it equals zero, I get this. So find the x values of the stationary points. Now note, the coordinate of the stationary points are not asked for. So you don't have to work out the y values, very important. But you must find the nature of the stationary points. So now I'm going to differentiate again. And by differentiating again, I'm going to get this. Okay, it's basically just taking this and this differentiating it again. So it's that, um, I just want to see quickly. Um, I'm going to say, I just want to, I'm going to put in this step again for you. So I was ending up with this. Let's just make it another color. So dy by dx was equal to that. 8 minus 2, and if I bring it up, 2x minus 1, negative 2. So if I differentiate it again, okay, this is uh, falling away, then this is negative, okay, remember first the outside, so it's negative 2 times negative 2 will be 4, okay, and then it will be 2x minus 1, subtract 1, negative 3. Multiply by differentiating the inside. And that will give me uh, then that 8. Bring this down and th that will be 2x minus 1 to the power 3. And that's what I got there. Okay, 
Again, I just showed you that step. Okay, let's continue. Now, uh, um, if I want to see if it's a minimum or a maximum, I'm just going to take this value of x and I substitute it. If it's negative, it's going to be a maximum point. And if I substitute and it's positive, it's going to be a minimum point. So, and I'm just saying, when x is this, it's a minimum point. When this is, it's a maximum point. Again, I did not ask you to draw it, so it's not necessary that we go into the sketch. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 30, number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number 1. So if I have y equals, and let's just write down the function, 2x minus 3 to the power of 3 minus 6x. Okay. Now, if I'm going to differentiate, uh, I use the chain rule there, and there I just, it's the sum and difference rule. I just differentiate. So uh, I'm going to say dy by dx, and that's going to be 3, 2x minus 3. I subtract 1, and that will be 2. Uh, don't forget, this is the chain rule. Multiply, it's almost like I can do it like that. Multiply the inside, and then I subtract 6, and then I do this. And then I'm getting 3, 2x minus 3. Oh, okay. Let me just, sorry, I can just simplify. This will be 6. 2x minus 3 squared minus 6. Okay. So there I differentiated it. In. So now I can take another color. 4 stationary points dy by dx is equal to 0. So basically, I'm just going to get 6, 2x minus 3 squared minus 6 equals 0. Okay, I can take it over. So I said 6, 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 6. Divide 6, divide 6. So it's just going to be 2x minus 3 squared is equal to Let's just go back. It's equal to 1. So if I multiply, it's going to be 4x <coughs> squared. I multiply with, multiply 2, so it's negative 6x times 2, so it's negative 12x plus 9 minus that 1, and that's equal to 0. So that's going to be 4x squared minus 12 x plus 8 equals 0. Just moving this. <clears throat> so this is going to be, I divide by 4, yes. So this is going to be, so let's just say divide 4. This is going to be x squared minus 3x plus 2, and that's equal to 0. Okay. Okay, and then I differentiate, oh, factorize, sorry. So it's 2 and 1, and uh, 1 and 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Signs are the same, negative, negative, x, x. So this is going to give me x minus 2, x minus 1 equals 0. So therefore, x is equal to 2, or x is equal to 1. Okay, so <clears throat> this is saying find the values of x. That's what I did there. I can move it up now a little bit. Okay, 
Now, to find the nature of the stationary points, I'm going to differentiate again. Remember, it's this. So it's going to be d square y dx squared, and that is going to give you 6 times 2, so that's going to be 12, and then it's going to be 2x minus 3, 2 squared, and then multiply 2. That's a constant, so it's becoming 0. So that is going to give me 24, 2x minus 3. Okay. And then I'm going to say, and now we start, when x is 2, d squared y over dx squared equals 24, 2, 2, minus 3. 24, 4 minus 3. And the answer is 24. Now, if it's 24, I'm going to say it's bigger than 0. That's positive. <laughs> to move up. It's positive. So, let me just get my pen again. Therefore, at x equals 2, it is is a minimum stationary point. Okay, and then when x is 1, d squared y over dx squared equals 24 to 1 minus 3. It's 24 to its negative 1. So it's going to be negative 24. So it's going to be smaller, oh sorry, smaller than 0. So it's negative. <laughs> Again, move it up just a little bit. So at therefore at x is one d square y over d x square is a maximum. Or stationary point. Okay, and that's how you do it.